good day good morning it's natasia how you guys doing i hope you're doing good we're not gonna waste much time on this intro because we're gonna talk about how to use soap and yes i use soap as a verb and not as a noun so how do you soap now there are different ways that you can create lather with your soap products which can help you save some coin and get a great exponential lather for you to bathe with so you don't have to use so much product so if you're interested in knowing some tips some tricks and maybe add some stay tuned for the rest of the video welcome welcome and we're not gonna waste any time we're gonna start off with method one which a lot of people use which is they take the actual soap bar and they rub it on a skin to bathe now this is mr kingston mr kingston here's everybody everybody mr kingston <laughs> this soap is an awesome men's soap mr kingston has like a fresh aquatic woodsy base note to it um it's very it sounds very similar to Giorgio, Giorgio Armani's uh, Aqua Di Gio. If you ever smelled that, you would. it would, smells very similar. But as you can see, I am agitating the soap, rubbing it on my skin, trying to create some bubbles. And I am getting some bubbles, but if you're doing this for your whole body, you're going to use a lot of product. On to method two. Method two is using the bar soap with a loofah. Now, loofah, if you guys don't know, this is such an amazing product. And we're going to be using our Lemon Paradise soap. The first one I picked up was the Citrus Punch soap. Both are made with lemon essential oil, but the Citrus Punch soap is made with orange peel oil in addition. Now, as you see, I'm just rubbing it a little bit on that loofah and look what's happening look at that look how much it increased the ladder and when i tell you this is going to extend the life of your soap it will because you're not using as much product and as you can see from the side by side comparison look at my hands on the right side using the loofah you can't even see my hands because there's so much lather while on the left side it's like okay we got some bubbles going so which one would you choose in this case? <laughs> I mean, you can bathe a family of seven with all that leather. All right, moving on, moving on. We're going to get into our method number three. Number three, using a bar soap with an exfoliating bath gloves. Now, have you guys seen the exfoliating bath gloves before um these gloves are pretty extraordinary um they are they're kind of rough but not extremely rough and instead of you using if you're not really a fan of using like the, the hand rags or the bare soap to the skin method this is a great option and it exfoliates very well on the skin this is mr gq soap mr gq soap has some base notes of musk it's woodsy, it's cool, and it smells like Polo Sport for Men by Polo. And what you're going to see is once I start agitating the soap, those gloves are going to help to increase those bubbles and create a lather. And then you would just rub it on your skin as usual. The benefit of using the gloves is that it exfoliates your skin while you're cleaning, while you're bathing. So it will leave you with nice soft skin left over. And it's great. And let me tell you something. Not to get in your business, nothing like that. But if you bathe with someone and they use these gloves on your back, oh my goodness. You talk about your back feeling clean. <laughs> now we're getting into number four. I mean, now we're going to use the bar soap with soap savers now these are great because you can take those little little pieces of soap that's left over and put them all in those bags and they will help to increase the lather and you can extend the life of your soap i mean you won't waste the soap and here i'm putting in journey to mecca this is actually one of one of my top sellers it's actually number two in selling 
on the men's soaps that I have. It actually has a bay leaf, cedarwood, bergamot fragrance to it. It's very nice, cool scent for men. But if you have these little pieces of soap around your bathroom, are you throwing them away? Are you throwing them away? Because that's insane. You can get one of these bags and put all the little pieces in, make the grandkids do it, <laughs> and save some soap. Both the examples I have are great. You see they're increasing the lather. And if you have like 10 pieces, 3 pieces, 4 little pieces, it's going to combine them together. And the benefit is you have something that's going to increase the lather. You don't have to throw away all those little pieces and... You know, you're going to have a bunch of little soaps in there, so you're going to have a lot of fragrances that might smell really awesome. So, don't throw those soap pieces away. Put them in these little soap savers. Save some coin. Extend the life of your soap, especially if you're spending money on your skin and you want natural products to bathe with. And look at all that. Look at all that soap in there. Guys, if you feel like I'm dropping you some knowledge and giving you some good tips... Please hit the like button and subscribe. We haven't even gotten to number five yet. And we got some knowledge going on up in here. I'm going to keep it real with you guys. Even if it's not for my products, I'm going to keep it real with you. So on to number five. Number five, five, five. We're going to be using the bar soap with the face cloth. The cloth. <laughs> I no longer use the cloth method anymore. Um, there's nothing really wrong with this method per se, but it does use a lot of product. And here we have Miss Lioness Soap. She's a beautiful scented soap, black raspberry vanilla soap, and a fragrance, and it's a beautiful soap. So you're going to see me agitating the soap, creating some lather, and putting it in the rag. Now, guys, with the rag, the loofah, the soap saver bags, please... Those of you who've already been on to these methods, you have to wash all of them. You have to you have to really wash all of them. You can't use a Lutha for like, you know, four years and have it sitting in your bathroom. <laughs> you gotta you gotta wash them good. But you can see, look at that soap. My soaps have bubbles. Okay, my soap has bubbles. My soap is like, yeah, we're gonna create some lather no matter what. But this method is an okay method. It's just that you might use a lot of product. Yes, I have a bowl here and it doesn't look that way. But imagine if you're in the shower and the water is rinsing off the bubbles as you're trying to create them. This might use a lot of your product. Now, I showed you five ways to soap. Can you guys possibly think of the sixth way to soap? Number six is using foaming sugar scrub. Now, for those who don't know, sugar scrub is a great product it uses sugar as a natural exfoliant on your skin and my lemon punch sugar scrub is a foaming sugar scrub and my foaming sugar scrub has lemon essential oil it has vitamin e and it has whipped soap in it now i'm gonna take a little small amount well <laughs> well it's supposed to be smaller than that <laughs> i'm gonna add some water and i'm gonna go ahead and agitate it and rub it against my skin I usually like to rub it on my skin until I feel like the sugar has completely dissolved and done its job. And what I like about the foaming sugar scrub is you have the sugar that's exfoliating your skin and getting under there, getting all that dirt and oil and whatever. And then you have the foaming agent or the whipped soap that's lifting all of that up, trapping it, and then you rinse everything off. You can use sugar scrub for anything. You can use it to help get rid of old, old dead skin. If you went gardening and you just want extra help in getting some dirt out from under your nails, it's great. And well, look at my skin. Look at how my skin looks. The vitamin E that's in there, the avocado oil that I also add in there, it just leaves your skin nice, soft, and glistening. It's also great if you want to remove old skin from your kneecaps and your elbows and your feet. I love to use it on my face. And now we're just going to get into number seven. Number seven way that you can soap using the Tasia Sudden Sip products is using a Luther 
with the body wash shower gel now this is the nubian king body wash it is a male scented soap i also have the bar soap that goes with this body wash which smells awesome the scent itself is very masculine and very sexy and it is it has a base note of bergamot and cedar now guys even if you're not using the shower gel that I sell do not use shower gel with a rag you need a loofah or you need an exfoliating glove because look at how little I put in that loofah and look how much lather I got out of that one piece like it's ridiculous look at that look at how much suds is there you can bathe 10 people with that one loofah but don't don't do that but what I'm saying to you is this is a great way to extend the life of your products guys and it smells awesome it just smells so awesome again these are some of the tips and some of the ways you can extend the life of your soap if you made it as far you're phenomenal thank you so much check out my website for the accessories and products and again protect your energy and thank you for watching